Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today as you can see on my hand, this is Surface Pro 6 and it does have Windows 10. What about if we have Windows 11 on it? How would it react? Did you ever think to yourself? So if you do have one, so might be that would be great for Windows 11. We never know anyway. So what I'm going to do today, I intend to put Windows 11 on it, the lit version one, because officially still it's not released. So I'm going to install it and I will show you how to install and hopefully it will be successful and after we're done we'll see how the Surface Pro 6 does react. So before we install Windows 11 we need to do a couple of settings into the BIOS. Okay so let's get into the BIOS and change it. So first of all what I need to do I need to turn it off. So first I'm going to turn this off. I'll shut it down all right so once it turned off then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna push down the volume up and then I'll press the power button and release it so once I press on volume up and it's going to take me directly to the surface pro UEFI settings as you can see it says UEFI so now for Windows 11 we need to do a couple of things right so first is first, we need to get into the security because as you already guys know, that without TPM enabled, we'd not be able to install Windows 11 on it. So if your one is turned off like that, make sure you do turn it on, okay? Once it turn on, then you need to go to boot configuration and make sure USB storage also enabled. So once it's done, you are good to go. What you can do, you can just exit it and restart your system okay so right now the system will load up and Windows 10 will be ready and then we'll install Windows 11 on it by the way this is the bootable Windows 11 but if you want to install Windows 11 on Surface Pro 6 you don't have to be bootable one without bootable also you can do it either if you do have the ISO file or mount from the ISO file still you'd be able to install Windows 11 so first is first what I'm gonna do I'm gonna connect the USB first okay so that is connected once it connected then we're gonna go to this so I'm gonna go to this PC once I click on this PC as you can see it says Windows 11 uh, temporary UEFI okay so I'm going to open it. This is the USB. So if you don't have the ISO file, make sure you do right click and go to mount. And after you mount, it's going to be exactly like that. So let me show you from the clues. Okay. So from here at the bottom, I can see setup. So I'm going to double click on it and say yes. Once I do that. As you can see, it says preparing is going to go up to 100%. All right, so now it is asking uh, install Windows 11. Setup will go online to get uh, updates. Anyway, my uh, Surface Pro 6 is on offline mode. I'm going to hit on next. Once I hit on next, this one will check the PC if everything is fine or not. Okay, so this one would take a couple of minutes. It, if you have four, six, almost same. Now we need to accept the terms and condition. Otherwise, we would not be able to go forward. So accept it. And then it's going to check for updates. Now it says ready to install. That said, you don't be able to use your PC during installation. That's fine. Okay. So as you can see, install Windows 11 home version. Keep personal files and apps. That's so great. If you want, you can tick it, you know, or you can change it. But I'm going to leave it like that. So I don't lose any data. Okay. Now I'm going to hit on install. And then the main process would start. 
so this actual installing process is quite lengthy process this one takes so long I am playing this video right now uh, into 7x speed okay so seven times faster than normal still it took so much time as you can see only three percent this one would take maybe 15 uh, 15 to 20 minutes even even more you know my USB stick is quite faster as you can see the red blinking imagine how fast it is working okay so Windows 11 installation process I mean uh, laying out on Windows 10 is a long process so bear in mind so once it's done then it would uh, boot up normally and hopefully that would be successful let's check what happened okay I believe that would be pretty decent we're gonna check every single thing so now what I'm thinking about the drivers okay might be would have some issues with drivers that that should be back to normal okay we're gonna check how it goes let's wait until then Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. All right, so Windows 11 uh, boot up successfully, but I do have some issue. As you can see, the touch is not working. The mouse pad from the keyboard does work. Okay, so let's connect into internet. Uh, might be the driver would be up to date by itself once it connected to the internet. So I'm gonna connect it and then we'll give it a few restart. And also from the device manager we're going to check how many drivers does have the issue so let me connect into my Wi-Fi and then we'll get into the device manager and check all right so I connected to the internet now I will play with it to update the drivers but when I tried it uh, manually myself by choosing automatic updates it does not giving me straight away it shows the error unable to find it okay so it took a little bit of time to figure it out at last what I done when I was completely unable I just went to Microsoft website and choose drivers for Surface Pro 6 and I updated the actual firmware which is based on Windows 10 but luckily there was no any crash or anything it's just up to date within very short time so the camera head issue as you can see right now it shows the volume but also after restart I had issue with the sound we shall also later on get fixed after a couple of restart okay so that was pretty much impressive now it's loading up again and we're gonna check the interfaces and everything okay and now let's check yeah still does have some of them the same thing 
let's wait until the firmware get up to date that's the one surface pro 6 and let's choose the bottom one good now a couple of them left as you can see most of them already up to date it and now touch does work brilliant and I love the actual taskbar on the right center you can take it to the left as you can see if you choose left if you want to put it on the center just choose center and we can see a lot of apps already installed it comes from the store like kind of TikTok and then Instagram great Spotify all of them but if you want to get full access to the uh, uh, store app store then definitely uh, Microsoft store then definitely you have to sign in and also you can create more than more than one desktop with different different identical wallpaper on it so as you can see the background wallpaper already changes because of this is the desktop number two if I choose one again it's gonna go back to normal so let's do another restart and see what happened next it took about like almost hour and a half to sort this out you know from beginning to the end but Windows 10 installation doesn't take normally that much okay so it's restarted again and as you can see this is desktop one the touch is fine and you must have to sign in to get all the dashboard and everything okay and without also login you can get some apps so that would be a great upgrade for surface pro 6 the speed is brilliant battery also running smoothly and nicely and even if you use as a tablet without the keyboard would be nice as well as you can see good so audio issues also fine as you can see now That's nice. Oh, yes, you can create more than one desktop as much as you want, and all of them you can change the actual background. Just click it, choose the background, whatever you like. You can see it's changed. So this is pretty much cool, even the battery performance, you know, also brilliant. All the drivers I believe up to date it. Still it shows. Let's go to the camera and check. We can find your camera. Why? No problem, we can fix it. Manage. Most of the drivers up to date. Now let's check the camera. Alright, so all the driver issue already fixed. 
the camera was not working. Now the camera is working perfectly without any issue and it's brilliant. Okay. To update the driver, I went to Microsoft website and choose for Surface Pro 6. And the interesting thing is when I updated driver and firmware, which is for Windows 10, and it did work pretty good for Windows 11, but I done it with my own risks. So if you feel good, you can do it with your own risk. So I choose the latest one, which is 300 and something, the bottom one. And Surface Pro 6, Win 10, as you can see, click here to download manually 391.7 MB. And once I download it and install, all the driver issue fixed, the touch was absolutely fine. And then the camera was working, which is brilliant, you know. And uh, it just took a couple of free start, that's all, okay? So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, turn this off, uh, pretty much that's all. And I would say the boot time, everything was brilliant, you know, and I hope that would be a great update. So let me know how did you like, like it. If you do have one, might be you can give it a try.